you just want to watch me open this? No, I'll do it later. Hi. I'm so glad that you're all here. Um, thank you for coming. I, I'm pretty astonished by this recognition, and I'm so grateful for it. Thank you. Um, being a writer is a lot of just being alone, um, which I love. It's a great job for me um, because I, like, am terrified of intimacy and I want intimacy, you know, in, in equal measure. Um, and so that's a tension that I get to explore in my writing, which is amazing. Um, so I wrote this book, which is about friendship, totally alone. Um, and I believed that nobody would ever write, nobody would ever read what I was writing, um, which is what allowed me to be really honest. But that's a fiction that I told myself. And I think that sometimes to write honestly about ourselves, we have to sort of tell ourselves a series of fictions um, that we can make ourselves believe. So I just want to thank girls right now. I mean, I think that the opportunities that you provide are really extraordinary. My writing teachers are on the email equivalent of speed dial. I also wrote a smiley face in my speech, which none of you can see. So just imagine that I'm doing a smiley face right now um, about that. And I also want to thank all of you young women who are telling the truth about yourselves um, and writing the stories that you need to write. Your job is so important. It is a way of giving permission to the rest of us to be flawed and human and imperfect. And I need you to write so that I can remember how to live because that's how we do it. So I imagine that you all write about wildly different topics and that you all see writing taking you to different places. Um, there's so many ways to use writing in the world and none of those ways is a waste of time. They're all important. So I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about. I was thinking about the movie Arrival, which is based on the short story, This is the Story of Your Life. And the central point is that language is part of what tells us how to think. So the language that we speak, the language that we think in, like it actually starts to inform how we see the world. And I think that by learning how to write and by working with mentors, like you have the capacity now to hone your skills with language, which will hone your skills with clear thinking, nuanced observation, and hopefully powerful communication. So when I was young, I wrote because I was lonely, and I read because I was lonely. And I wrote and I kept writing because I wanted somebody somewhere to listen to me. And I wanted my story to be heard because I wanted to be seen, and I think that's a really common experience. But what I want to share with you is the orientation that I have now, um, which is that I've been given a gift, you've been given a gift, I've been given training, you've been given training. And that has given me the ability to put into sentences what so many of us feel, but don't necessarily know how to articulate. And I feel a responsibility having that ability and that training, not to write so that I can be seen, but so that somebody else might recognize herself or himself or themselves in my words. And that's what I want to encourage you all towards. As you face a blank page, you feel whatever fear or anxiety or nerves that might come up. I hope I'm not projecting. That's what I feel when I write. Um, so you're writing for yourselves, right? You are. But you also have the opportunity to write for people that you will never meet, but who will read the sentences that you wrote describing a moment between yourself and a parent or a teacher or a friend. And she will say something like, the details are different but the feeling, I have felt like that. Writing is a solitary process, but reading, I think, is the most sacred communion between two people that I have ever found. So I need you to write your stories. I need to hear how you approach the world. I need to learn what life looks like through your eyes. And so this is very selfish. But please keep writing and honing your craft. And remember that what you're doing is a profound act of service. One that all of us, that I, everywhere, need. Thank you for the work that you have done. Thank you for the work that you're going to do. And I can't wait to see what you do next. So with that, please help me welcome our first group of readers from the class of 2019.